retargeting is a thing of the past. Well, you still need to do it, but it's actually very easy now, at least for normal humanoid characters. I'm not entirely sure how easily it's going to adapt to non-humanoid characters. But if we have a skeleton with one animation, if you're using like Miximo, for instance, which I have a bunch of Miximo animations uh, somewhere right here because of the motion matching tutorial that I just did, these are still a different skeleton from the Unreal skeleton, right? So if I want to apply these animations to the normal Unreal Engine mannequin or whatever, usually that would involve quite a bit of work. But now it's actually remarkably easy. You can just right click and we can say, hey, we want to retarget this animation or we can right click them all <laughs> and retarget all the animations because they all belong to the same skeleton anyway. You will have to put in our source skeletal mesh. Let's actually make this full screen. And then we can just say our target skeletal mesh will be uh, Quinn. And now we can see them side by side and we can try to see, hey, if we have the idle animation, uh, that kind of worked quite well for both of them. The proportions for this character are a little bit different from this character. So it's clipping through itself a little bit. Uh, but if we turn left, uh, we can see we just pressed like two or three buttons and now the animations from this skeleton work perfectly fine on this other skeleton. And if we select all of these, uh, maybe including the animation blueprint, uh, I haven't tried that before, let's do it. Uh, and we can export those animations. We can say uh, here in third person, we want to make a new folder, retarget it or something like that. And we'll prefix them all with quit. And then just export those new animations. We don't want to override anything existing and we could include the reference assets if we wanted to. I don't think we need to, so let's export all of those. So now it's going to make duplicate animations, and we have an animation sequence uh, for all of those animations now for the Quinn model. Up to and including uh, the animation blueprint that we set up. Of course, this animation blueprint is now using still the wrong animations, not the retargeted animations. So if you want to uh, set up the motion matching for it, we do need to make a separate motion matching database. Go watch that tutorial, uh, but let me do that real quick here. So I set everything up uh, and now we have uh, just changing this to the Quinn database that I just made and changing that animation class to the new animation blueprint as well in the uh, character blueprint here. Just as easily as that, we now have our motion matched uh, thing for the actual Unreal Engine mannequin instead easily retarget it just like that. And of course you can still make a new retargeter. So in retargeting, IK retargeter, where you set up the source IK rig and a target IK rig and do it a little bit more manually. And you can then use those in the animation retargeting instead. I'm assuming that if you're having any trouble, uh, that will probably fix up most of your results. But for the most part, I don't think that you're going to need to do that, which is the wonderful thing. And a very big thank you to all of my Patreons. You can see them on screen right now. If you want to help out supporting the channel, there's a link down below in the description to the Patreon page. And a special thanks to my Cave Digger tier Patreons, Sergey Thomas, 